Hey everybody, it's Robin at Raincross Farms Makery. Welcome. Bill's gonna plug it in. Plug, plug it in. in. Plug, plug it in. in my microphone. There. I think I'm not quite so crooked, but Office. no, I'm. We're good. Anyway, hey everybody. Happy Saturday evening. Hope you had a great start to your weekend. And again, my name's Robin. That was Bill behind the camera, behind the computer. That was Bill behind the camera, behind the computer. I was listening to something earlier. <laughs> you have to listen to me twice. So when you get here, pop on, say hello in the comments so we know who we who's watching. So we know we're not alone. We don't like being alone. I'm going to take just a second to get my info started. And do do. All right. I think I'm up and going here. This one. And I'm going to choose a post, select it. And that's the one. Save that. Publish that. We should be good. So say hi. So I know you're here. And I think I turned that off already. Did I? Did I turn it off? I think I did. Okay. Anyway. Thanks for joining us. Those of you that are here, we have, oh, I didn't bring my list of synonyms. <laughs> Bill, Bill got his thesaurus online out and because I always say, we've got a cute little craft for you tonight and I, I need something else to say. So I have an elegant, enormous craft for you tonight. <laughs> It's going to be fun. We're going to make a statement piece for Christmas. So hopefully you will like it. Um, of course, if you are watching, we would we'd so appreciate it if you would give our video a heart. If you'd follow our page, we are about 25 people away from 3000 followers. That's just awesome. So if you're not already following, follow our page. And of course, we would love it if you would sprinkle this video out to your page to your crafty friends. It's all great. It helps Facebook let us sends a message to Facebook that we have something people are interested in and they're interested in sharing and they will share it out also. So good pick it. Adorable, cute. Uh, cute is adorable, beautiful, charming, delightful, pleasant, pretty, delightful. Dainty. This is a delightful project. Delightful project. <laughs> We're going with delightful. <laughs> a delightful project tonight. So we are going to use this big daddy. This is our holiday pine transfer. It's got it's got pine leaf, pine needles and holly leaves and and pine cones and anyway it's just it's just beautiful for the Christmas season. Last year, this is actually last year's design, but we're gonna it's it's back in stock. This is what I made out of it last year. I made a pillow, and this one I did in multiple colors. I did it in the pesto green, the bark brown, the red. There's some gold in there. We're gonna do it tonight with just one color, and it's going to be delightful. Is that my word? Ken's here. Yay. We don't even have to start over. Awesome. Anybody else? Come on in. Okay. You could, you could say dainty. Dainty. It's, this is not a dainty project. This is a well, delightful. Ken, I this is a, dainty on this. but it's, it would be a lie. Okay. So big transfer. We are going to put it on. This is our newest surface. This is our 18 by 18 double sided box frame. I mean, it's huge. It's, it's huge. You can't even see me. One side is a wood tone. The other side is white. So you can you can put two different designs on on either side. And that way you don't have to I'm not going to store this away after Christmas is over if I put something uh, year round on the back. So let's get started. You had me at pillow. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to, this is, this is a wood surface, so I'm just going to give it just a quick, simple sand. It's actually pretty smooth, but just give it a little sand. And because it's wood, I'm going to put some of my surface wax on. This is just clear paste wax. No, it is not dainty. Okay. Okay, so surface wax. I sell this in my shop. If you're interested in the supplies, you can comment supplies and you will get a list of all the supplies I'm using tonight. Okay, so just, just a little bit of wax. That will help the transfer to not stick. And this is raw wood. I could paint it, but I, I want to keep this color. Okay. So just a little bit of wax. I'm going to put this away. And we are going to start by fuzzing this big guy. Now, when you're using these great big transfers, they can be a little intimidating. So this is what we're going to do. Um, let me show you. First of all, I've got it halfway in here. I need to get it out. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for just a second. I'm not going to completely peel this thing off. I am going to... Hey, Linda, welcome. Welcome from Tennessee. Finally got to see us. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of fuzz to this. It doesn't need a lot because I have used this a time or two before. But again, this is our holiday pine pattern. So I'm just putting a little fuzz on the stickiness. We are so glad you made it, Linda. And I'm going to turn this other side over, do the other half. It's a lot more manageable when you're just dealing with half of it at a time. And a little bit of fuzz. I miss Tennessee. We went, we vacationed there. We went to a conference there one year and then we loved it so much we went back the following year just for vacation. We loved, video is, oh, you're saying that. Hopefully it's on. Hey, Patty. Okay, so I've got fuzz on both sides. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and take, take the backer off of the transfer. Sometimes that's easier. And now I'm going to get my big old frame. Again, this is our 18 by 18 box, double-sided box frame. And I don't really think it matters which side is up because it's kind of an all over pattern. And the awesome thing about this is they are, you can tile with these patterns. So where this leaves off on this side, it matches up over on this side. So if I wanted to do a piece bigger than this, I can, I can line up the edges and it will be a continuous pattern. Okay, so I'm just gonna push down, make sure there's no air bubbles, no big chunks of fuzz. And I've got an air bubble right there that I want to work out. Now I'm gonna put this pattern on and it's not meant to be a bold statement. It's going to kind of be, I kind of want it to, Oh, I don't know, kind of not really blend into the background, but I don't want it to be obvious. There's a big old bubble here. So I'm going to just lift this and lay it back down. And it fits in this frame perfectly. So like I said, I'm going to go over this. I'm just going to do one color. And that color is shimmer olive. I thought that would be pretty. I wanted a shimmer and pine to me is a little olivey colored. So I'm going to stir this up just a bit. 
and we're going to use quite a bit of it because this is a big a big transfer yes i love this too it's 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 beautiful so i'm just going to start by taking my little stir stick and just sticking this on and any extra i have i can scrape back in my jar okay now i'm going to get my small squeegee and i'm just going to start taking that chalk paste again this is chalk paste it's chalk in paste form and our shimmers have a um oh what's it called mica flakes that that make them shimmer so again this is in the list of supplies if you're interested type the word supplies you can see what's in there okay, and i'm just gonna go at it we actually have an even bigger squeegee i just have never used it it's about four inches wide it would be perfect to use on this, but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Now, if I was not using shimmer paste, I would want, I would be worried about it drying in the screen, but because our shimmers take, have a little bit extra drying time, I think I can get at least half of this done without fear of it drying in the screen. If it dries in the screen, it will, when you pull the screen up, it will pull the paste up with it. You don't want that. You want the paste to stay down on the surface beneath. So we want to pull that screen up while the paste is still damp. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I want this to look subtle. So when I peel it off, don't say, oh, it's, it's so subtle. That's what I'm after. I just kind of want a little background. Because this is actually not going to be the star of the show. Okay, so I've got more than half of that. So I'm going to take just a break. This is just the, the wallpaper. This is just wallpaper. So I'm going to called paste and peel. So I paste it and I'm going to peel this up. And I'm going to just shoot it with my dryer just a little bit. And I'm going to lay it back down over that, but I'm not going to push down on it. Hey, Patty, how are you? Yes, you could. You could use this as eyeshadow. Two patties. To all beef patties. Okay, so I'm going to lay that down. I'm not going to press it down. This is still pressed down. I'm going to continue on. And I may need a little bit more paste. I'm still doing okay, though. So again, this is our shimmer olive paste. Okay, there's a chunk of something I don't want. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more. And put that down. Try to keep my fingers out of it. So super simple. It's just, it's just that it's a big transfer, so it can be a little intimidating. But just worry about one section at a time. Almost 
almost done. Okay, scrape some of that off. Make sure I got everywhere. A couple spots I missed. Lettuce. lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. I told him that you could probably. I could, it. I could, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what I did yesterday, but I can quote television commercials from the 70s or 60s. I don't know. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to, I've got paste on my fingers, so I'm going to clean that off. <laughs> okay, has everyone had a good weekend? Oh, yeah. So far, we didn't really do a whole lot. I did plenty. <laughs> you did plenty. He did, he was doing some cutouts. Okay, so I've got most of that off. Now I'm going to grab a corner here and peel the rest of this up. Woohoo! It's pretty. Okay, so now That's I've got so this cute. I've got this big old thing and don't don't put it sticky side to sticky side. Oh. Okay. I'm going to set this aside for just a second. And I'm going to lay this back down on its backer sheet because it's just huge. I'm not going to try to clean this in front of you. I'm going to take this up to my bathtub and I'm going to clean it in there afterwards. So I'm just going to set this aside and show you. There we go. And now, is that subtle or what? I'm retired every day as a weekend. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. So, meant to look subtle, meant to look like wallpaper. Okay, let's. And it does. And it does. And I'm helped. Okay, let me clean that off. Let me put my lid on this. Okay, now you could have done this with multiple colors like I did with the pillowcase. But again, I'm going for subtle, and you'll see in a moment why. So I'm going to take my dryer and just make sure this is dry. And then I'm going to get my next piece of the project out. It's, yes, it is significant, Ken. It's so significant. <laughs> it's significantly, what was my word? Dainty. No, it's not dainty. I forgot my word. I need to write it down. Remind me, what was my word? You can't see. Bill's got his other frame over. Oh, my frame. You're not supposed to be working. You're supposed to be doing this. I forget what it was. It's a significant project. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we quoted it. Yes, I, we're just gonna go with significant. I need to get that list in front of me. Still a little damp. Adorable, beautiful, pleasant, pretty, charming, delightful. Delightful. I thought it started with a D. It's delightfully significant. <laughs> it is not dainty. 
This is meant to be a big statement piece. Okay, I think that is dry enough for now. Okay, so our next piece is this gold hoop. I got this Park Lane. I think that's Joanne's. Joanne's. This is a 14 inch uh, gold hoop. It's not an embroidery hoop. It's just a decorative hoop. And I'm going to peel off that sticker. And we are going to end up putting it, centering it right there on our board. And then we're going to decorate it up with some, some garlandy stuff going to be it's going to be awesome okay so before i get there i'm going to set this aside and i think i'm going to get out some parchment paper because i'm going to be doing some hot gluing and i don't want i don't want my hot glue to stick okay let me this out. So I just have these little pieces of, of pine. It may have been a big old sprig of it. It might have been a Christmas tree. I don't know. But I've taken it apart. And I'm just going to lay it out here. And you know what? I even have some with some sparkles. Maybe I'll put some of those in there too. Now these I know, I'm pretty sure I got these at the Dollar Tree. These, these I didn't. But I'm going to put some sparkly in between. And maybe another sparkly. And sparkly not sparkly other sparkle delightfully significant you got it okay okay something like that what do you think does that look good okay so let's start gluing so let me start on this side and I'm going to put some glue straight on the ring. <laughs> that actually sounds really good, buddy. You said, what did I have for dinner? <laughs> I know that feeling. Okay. Chili mac and grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm, we had... What did we, what did, what did they call it? Chicken. Oh, oh. Chicken cobbler. Chicken cobbler. <laughs> it, it's kind of like a chicken pot pie. Okay. So I'm going to trim this down. This is kind of long. Trim that it's piece. Pretty good, it is. Cobbler. It was a, it was one of those, was it a TikTok recipe or something? Yeah, I think, I think Tiffany, Tiffany sent it to me. Here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more glue here and hold that down in place. Now I could wire this together, but I think it's not going to take a lot of uh, wear and tear. So I'm thinking I can get away with just gluing it. And let's put some non glittery. There, let's put some of it up into there. Ouch, hot glue is hot. Public service announcement. Doop, 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 doop. Chili mac grilled cheese. 
Pot pies. What else did anybody have for dinner? Do you remember? Okay, let's trim this. Whoops. Sent that one flying. Okay, I'm using a significant amount of glue here. Because I want it to stick. Why is everyone so close? Ooh, beefaroni. Haven't had that in a while. Probably should get some of that on the shelf. Okay, that feels pretty. Pretty solid. Okay, so let's come up this way and glue this one down. And try not to burn my little fingers while that sets. Neither did we. It was good. Is it a fluke that you had beefaroni? It's not your normal? It's not your Saturday night dinner? However, truth be told, this is like the third night we have had chicken cobbler because it made a big old pan and we've just been eating it and it's been good enough to eat as leftovers. Okay, a sparkly one. Let me give that a Twist. I was going to do, I'll be honest, I was going to use a different transfer. I was going to use the one, it's called uh, Happy Little Trees, and it's just rows and rows and rows of trees. But doggone it, that thing is sold out and retired. It had sold out, and then they they put in an order for some more, and those must have sold out because they're they're gone now. So I'm not going to use a transfer that you can't get your hands on. So I went to this one, and it's one of my favorites anyway. I'm glad they brought it back. So I'm just I'm just layering on pine boughs, pine pieces. I'm not going to go completely around. It's not going to be a full wreath. What is it? Okay, chicken peas, carrots, cream of chicken soup, chicken broth, and a cup of butter. No, half a cup of a stick of butter in the bottom, melted in the bottom. I wasn't giving quantity. I just okay. forgot. Yeah. Uh, Bender, Ms. Bender wants to know, is there a release next week? Um, I don't I don't know. I have not heard. I know there will be um there will they'll be doing a new a new uh third third week of Black Friday sales. If you're interested in week two's Black Friday sales, you can comment sale. And you'll get the information. I don't know that there's going to be a release until maybe December. And even then, I don't think it's going to be a huge, a huge release. I don't, I don't remember what they do in December. And now they're changing things up. Okay. That gets solid. We're going to put a bow on it, get some color in here, because I do want some color. Okay. I think they're pretty, kind of like a little, like a little laurel wreath. Okay, let me put that aside. Let's get out some ribbon. And let's see. I got this at 
Joann's last year after Christmas, and it was, it was something like buy one, get three free, something ridiculous. But I picked this up there. And it is also kind of subtle. It's got the brown that kind of goes with the, the wood grain on the surface, but it's also got some green and red. So we're going to make, we're also going to add some red red to it because Christmas always needs a pop of red. Okay, so I'm just going to do a simple um, scrunch and fold and scrunch bow. Okay, let me see how big I want it. I think I want it about that big. Okay. So let me show you what I'm doing with this. I'm taking this and I'm going to fold it kind of like a uh, an awareness ribbon. And then I'm going to take this top down and push it down into here and scrunch it like that. And then I'm going to end up tying off that middle, but not yet. I'm going to use a clothespin and just kind of pinch it there for right now while I do the red. And I might do a couple layers of red. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm making it up as I go. Okay, that's probably long enough. You do. I'm going to do two of them that same size. Okay, this was Costco ribbon last year's or the year before. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to see if I can do it keep both of them together. Let me see what that does. If I can, I'm pretty sure I can separate those out. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So I just kind of folded it and scrunched it in the middle. And now I'm going to take, I have this, I'm going to, I have to tie it with something. I'm going to use this, I think it's eighth inch, eighth inch ribbon. And I'm just going to use this to tie my bow together. So I'm going to take this one and lay it on top of this one so that's going to be whoops that's going to be my bow and i'm going to wrap this ribbon around and tie that off and then we're going to fluff and scrunch and all that good stuff is that centered it looks pretty centered and tie it again and again okay so here we go so this is wired edge ribbon that that's always helpful it makes uh makes your life easier when you go to scrunch these babies out What do we think? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's clean up some ends. Let's do dovetail. 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 And let's do... Dovetail. Hey, Alana, you didn't get the notice in time. Ah, uh, if you guys, um, there were people who were saying last time that when you click the link that you get to your uh, your your message, if you click the link, it used to take you to the website. What was it? Well, I think. I think I changed that. I think I fixed it. So you'll have to let me know if you noticed any difference 
if it took you straight to my page and you were able to find our live easier. Okay, so here's our bow. Here is our, okay. Let's set that aside for a minute. Now, I need some more of this ribbon because we are going to use this to attach to attach our ring. Okay, I think I want the grain going up and down. And I kind of want this centered. I need a bigger workspace for this. Okay. Maybe do I, I think I kind of want that off center. I can work on that. And this ribbon is going to be what hangs it. Otherwise, it would be kind of hard to attach. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me show you. So I'm going to attach this ribbon at the top, and it's going to hold it here. And then when I put the bow down, I'll actually kind of attach it to the, to the base. So let me get some glue on this. Says, what are we making? We, we are making a delightful, significant wall hanging, wall decor for Christmas. We are coming up with new adjectives, so everything isn't a cute little project. Can you see me up here? Okay, so I've got that glued down. It's just kind of hang in here I can trim it I can just leave it like that okay so that's the main decor and I do kind of want that a little off center and I'm going to you know what I still have these strings from my bow I think I'm going to use them to tie this on instead of gluing it Turn this over. Okay, so let's get rid of those extras. Let's turn this back around and let's fluff it a bit. Give it a fluffing. And you tell me, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? Can you see that the holiday pine just subtly in the background? But the main piece is this beautiful gold ring and the pine boughs and I like it I usually don't I usually don't do well on these things but this I like this this turned out good what do you think Bill it's so cute it's so cute you need to find some different adjectives well, too mr. man to did you it does it does look significant it is delightful that's so delightful okay so tell me would you do what would you do different I am going to you know, I don't have to. I don't have to tack you know it down. I think I'm not going to tack it down. The ribbon is at the top. Uh huh. If you could hang a little cardinal or two small Ooh. bells or or um, I have some bells. I have some little bells. You have all the bells. Look at that. Well, they don't really. They don't really. You have two of them hang down from that top. Uh huh. Ribbon. How am they I going to do? Ring. They just. They're there for a current. They're just Ooh, they're, they're, gold. they're just there to be delightful. This will just make it significant. Or you know what? Like even more significant. More significant. Okay, what did I do with that red eight inch? Here it is. Let's. let's. Daisy wants to know what you did with it. Let's play around with it. Do we need two bells or do we need three? 
Tell me if you would do anything different. Lana said, very pretty. Thank you. Okay, so these are little Dollar Tree decorative bells. Do we need two or do we need three? Let me hold it up. Two or three? What do, ooh, what do we think? Two or three. Patty says three. We'll try it. If we don't like it, we'll take one off. Okay. Here's three. How's that? Okay. Alana says three. Ken says two is good. Always the minimalist. Patty said, you're supposed to do odd numbers, so, okay. So, let me, you know what, I'm going to just string this in here and tie that up. And maybe I'll try it in a little bow. I don't know if I can get that. Okay. How's this? What do you think? Oh. Yeah, that works too. I was going to say hang them down. Dangle? Down. Dangle? That works too. I'll try it both ways. Like Should we dangle? <laughs> Should we dangle them lower? I think you ought to show them my new projects. Too. Okay. Well, I think you ought to get over here and you get back here and you show okay, them. You know what? I'll show them while you're tying okay. those down. Okay. Hold on. I can't even make my way back here. Okay. So and I'm, we turn I'm the playing, camera over. To... I'm playing with the um, laser cutter. And I decided to, I saw these online and I decided to make my own. But basically, I'm making wood hangers for whatever. This one has Wonderful Counselor, which should be Wonderful, and then Counselor. Prince of Peace, Holy One, Lamb of God. These are all the names that was given to Jesus. Here's King of Kings. And then it also has the reference on it where he was given that name. So... Anyway, set of 20 of them or something like that. I don't I know. I thought we were going to do 12. Like, huh? I thought we were going to do 12. Okay, we're going to do a set of 12, but we had we had 42 names given. I don't know. Well, we don't so, want Anyway, that's going to be in the that's going to be in the uh, in the shop, the cutout shop. The cutout shop. And then I'm learning how to do this on ceramic and on glass. And so I'm learning how to do this. That's what I've been doing today is learning how to do tiles okay. and whatnot. Are you thinking dangling? Okay, you guys vote. You can tie them back up. Do we want them to dangle down or do we want them up here? Up, high, or low? High or low? Okay, Alana, give us a day to get them on the on our little website. We've got to get photographs and all that good stuff. Okay, what are we voting? Up high, down low. He doesn't know, ask Patty. <laughs> yes, dangle. Let's okay, try. everybody says dangle. Okay, they don't sound pretty, but they look good. Okay, Alana, those are in the uh, cutoff. Cut out. Not what? They will be. They will be. There's, we have to. We have to make up a full set and. I'm finalizing that. Okay. What's the website for the website? Hold on, I'll find it for you. Okay. Okay. Don't. Don't worry. Some people's children. Okay. And don't forget, I can't sell to other designers. So if you're a designer, make sure your name is not on the order. 
because I can't sell wood pieces to other designers. According to the Federal Trade Commission, whom we love and respect, <laughs> I'm kissing up, I'm kissing up. <laughs> hey, don't say that. We kicked off of Facebook. Anyway, so here is, here is, I can't, I can't even get in the picture here. It's just, it's just too significant. It's too significant. <laughs> just hang your nose over the top like Kilroy would. Okay, so here is our, here is our delightfully significant art piece for Christmas. I hope you like it. I do. I'm going to put it up on my wall. I'm going to take a picture of it first. But I'm going to put it up on my wall. I'm going to stop talking so I have a screenshot where my mouth isn't in motion. Okay, there we go. So, that's so huge. Supplies, oh, comment supplies, so significantly, significantly delightful. delightful. Supplies will get you, the comment supplies will get you the list. It will also get you uh, information about my VIP group. It will get you information about our week two sale that ends tomorrow night at midnight. So, take a look at there. We have a bunch of transfers and a bunch of surfaces between 30 and 50% off. And if you're a club member, you get an additional 10% off. So you get 40 to 60% off. So take a look and see what you need from there. And I'm sorry we froze on you. I I think it's classy looking too. I don't, you know, this would this would cost a lot of money at a at a home decor store. So anyway, so if you need any information, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm looking for about 25 more people to follow us till we get to 3,000, which is just mind blowing because I think last year at Halloween, we were so excited because we had 500. And so we've come a long way in a year. So anyway, Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a great rest of your weekend. We probably won't be on tomorrow night, but look for us on Monday. And have a great, like I said, have a great rest of your weekend, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.